Morning, 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 everyone. Must the Western Network. Hope you're safe and well. Happy Sunday. Hope it's going well already. Got the bacon sandwich on the go, the Sunday papers, um, all that good stuff. And some and some interesting news coming out of West Ham. Obviously, yesterday was quite an interesting day, wasn't it? Um, confirming the seventh biggest transfer of all time with Declan Rice, who a man who should not be named in a very poorly sort of set up exit i think to be honest I, I, as i said i i i it, so i was quite disappointed with with, with the, the sentiment I was, I was very disappointed with the way um the way he's just left a little bit um understand you know it was i i, I said on twitter it'd be nice to have had something maybe more personal rather than just obviously people did get a personal note from him with the mail merge of basically the same open pen letter as i'm sure he wrote um definitely his pr company didn't write that um to the fans but it'd be nice to have actually seen him do it on the camera um bit a la ruben nevers do you know what i mean and actually if you listen to some of his i think it's his first interview with arsenal tv um he speaks really well about West Ham and said how, how it was really tough for him to leave, but he saw the project and da da da. He should have done that with us. But anyway, screw him, he's gone now. And we've got 105 million, well, 100 million pounds plus 5 million add ons in the bank. Now, the, the title talks about Alan Irvine. And people go, Alan Irvine, he left ages ago. He didn't. And I'm telling you, this is what really annoyed me when he left. And obviously, with, with Nevin leaving, it's, oh, well, Irvine left. Irvine didn't leave. Irvine had to leave his position in order to look after his family. I think it's his wife or his mum or someone like that, North. But he was still employed by the club as an advisor. Um, and according to the Daily of the Mail on Sunday, it reports today that Alan Irvine agrees to stay on at West Ham as uh, after the crucial uh, role he played in the Europa Conference League success in terms of scouting and stuff like that. They extend their two decade partnership by another year. Um, he's, you know, he, he's one of our main opposition scouts as well, particularly Northern clubs as well. Um, and he scouted West Ham's opponents on the way to European glory. Uh, and as a reward, they've handed the 65 year old with another uh, 12 month contract to put him in line with Moise's current contract as well. Um, he signed the deal last week and there's the hammers prepare for the new season, but it's just been announced. The article says, He's agreed to stay on as technical advisor, having played a key role last season. And um, they've offered him the 12 month contract. Um, and he was Moise's number two at Everton from 2004 and joined him as assistant manager at West Ham before taking on the current role, the technical advisor role in 2011 to enable him to be close to his family in the north of England. As we said, it was similar to sort of Craig Dawson moving. He did the same thing there. So a little bit of good news there, you know, it's um, and obviously he gets a reward, the reward for the European success. A lot of the coach a lot of the oppositions particularly european um oppositions were scouted by him and we won the competition so something must have done right there so a little bit of good news and hopefully i think probably tomorrow onwards we should see i reckon we should see a lot more activity now we know that we've got that 100 million pounds to spend now we've got the contract so obviously we could you know potentially borrow on that and 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 because we know that 100 million pounds is coming in um and then you'll see a lot more bids coming in for players i'd imagine if some haven't already been bid obviously the team are still out in australia they play spurs um on tuesday morning um, before then coming back uh, and then linking up with the international players who'll be back um, for their pre-seasons as then we go to, um, I think we've got Dagon Redbridge, we've got by Leverkusen, we've got, is it Stadren as well? So um, we've got uh, a, a busy couple of weeks coming up and I think we've got a busy couple of weeks coming up in, in terms of transfers as well. And maybe potentially uh, some, some more... Um, new backroom staff coming in as well. But good news about Alan Irvine getting another 12 months. He obviously did a good job last season in terms of scouting, and hopefully he can continue being our technical advisor for David Moyes. Um, as I said, keep an eye on the channel for any breaking news. We'll put it on as soon as humanly possible, and we'll see you guys very, very soon. Yesterday, myself, last night, me and Anton did a quick, not quick, went for an hour and a half, um, like chat about Declan, not, not about Declan Rice himself, but really about what, we do now 
and who we go with and it was a, a really good really good chat so go back and check that out if you're a little bit bored this afternoon um there's uh, obviously you've got Wimbledon as well haven't we we've got the men's final um but that's, that's it really isn't it anyway take care stay safe stay warm and I'll see you very very soon much love